All right, on to example four. Uh, this one we want to simplify by combining like terms. Ooh, I have lots of grouping symbols in here, so it's really hard to pick out you know, what my like terms are. Hmm, I think we can do it though, but we're going to have to borrow our distributive property first. So I'm going to take this negative sign and distribute it inside my parentheses here, okay? Now that'll give me a 2y minus a 3y minus a 4 plus a y squared plus a 6y squared. Okay, not bad. Um, I can see there's a few things I can combine. Uh, let's see. Specifically, I can put these y's together since both of them are single y. And I can combine these ones together over here because both of them are a y squared. Okay, so let's put those together. 1y minus 3y would be minus 2y. Uh, I have a 4 hanging out by itself, so minus 4. y squared plus 6y would be a plus 7y squared. All right, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and distribute my 2. It's not really going to help me combine any more like terms, uh, but it'll definitely help me see my final result. So negative 4y minus 8 plus 14y squared. All right, so uh, my final answer would be negative 4y minus 8 plus 14y squared. I wouldn't combine those any more together because none of those are like terms. I have a single y, I have an 8, doesn't have any variables whatsoever, and I have that y squared. Definitely not like terms. All right, so thanks for watching, educator.com.